What's going on guys? Sam here with Finn's Twins TV back with another video and this morning we're fishing another high school bass fishing tournament. It's the Georgia Open. Uh, we got about 85 boats in this tournament, 10% go on the state so hopefully we have a good tournament. Everything turns out good for us. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to subscribe and stay tuned. <laughs> There's a fish right here on that drop off. Here we go. This one seems a little bit better. Double up. Two fish at one time. Bam! Let's go! Look at that! I got two fish at one time. On the spoon, catching these fish out here in about 40 foot. This is not going to be big enough, but I hope we can get some more and get that bag bumped up a little more. I was hoping it. I got him. Nah, I ain't gonna see it. Definitely gonna see it. Oh.
All right, guys, we just got back. There's 80 boats in the top 10. Move on to the top eight, so hopefully we can make it in that top eight and go on to nationals. From Jefferson High School, we got Sam Holly, Jake Holly, a five bass tournament limit. There you go. Another nice bag of fish for Sam and Jake. Five fish today. Good bag of fish, guys. Those fish are going away. 11 pounds, one ounce, put you into fifth place today. All right, nice. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Gonna wrap up the fishing content we have in this week's episode. Had an awesome, awesome day out fishing the December 2nd Georgia High School Open. Because it was an open tournament, we saw a lot of new faces and got to meet a lot of new people. People coming over from the BASS tournaments, as well as a lot of people coming from out of state and coming down to fish. Now because this was a tournament video, we were scrambling around a lot and weren't able to talk to you guys about what was going through our heads and what we were thinking out there on the water. So real quick, I'm gonna explain to you guys what we're doing. So starting off, you're fishing in 30 to 40 foot of water with a little bitty flexed spoon, seeing if you can pull some fish up from that deep water and things just weren't turning out very well. Caught that one fish in the first 30 to 40 minutes, but things really started to slow down and we weren't seeing a lot of bait. So we started moving up the lake to see if we can target in on where some of these fish were. Eventually, we did find a pocket loaded with bait as well as fish. So we moved back in there and started throwing out these fish. Fish started busting and eventually started getting on these schools of fish back to back to back, catching a lot of fish on the Alabama rig as well as the jerk bait. Now in the winter time, these fish are gonna move out. They're gonna start up shallow feeding and move out in the timber. And this cove was a perfect spot for this to happen. This cove got real shallow in the back. Fish were feeding back there, pushing up this bait and as the sun came up and the day progressed, those fish moved out to the mouth of the creek and eventually out in the timber following this bait. So that's exactly what we did, following those fish out and out and out. And eventually as those fish got to the mouth of that creek, we were able to catch them on a little bitty flexit spoon, the same one we were using earlier that day, but finally started to catch some fish on that spoon and ended up getting a pretty good bag from the spoon, the Alabama rig, and the jerk bait. That's gonna wrap up this week's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.